Let's take a look at how to create a QR code treasure hunt or scavenger hunt with www.classtools.net slash QR. So when you're on their website, the very first thing you'll do is click on get started. And when you do that, it's going to go ahead and open up their template. So we're going to create a demo um, example today. And then you will then go ahead and type in your questions and answers, and you can see the format that is listed above. We put the question, we then put a star or asterisk, however you would like to say that, and then go ahead and put your answer without any spaces. So I've gone ahead and already created some. You do have to have at least five um, in order to use this template. So in this case, I have six, and you can see those questions right in there. And then you can put a password in in case you need to get back to this later. Um, this is going to be demo 2-2. This is recording this on the second. And at that point, you are ready to create the QR challenge. So let's go ahead and click the button here. And so what this is going to do, it now gives us a link. Here is the link that we have that will take us to our QR codes. Alright, so now your QR codes have been created. The very first code you have will have some basic directions. And the great thing about these codes is they do not require internet access on whatever the mobile device is that you're using to read them because these are just text files. So if you're using iPads or you know old smartphones that people have donated or student smartphones or iPod touches, whatever you're using, it just has to have the QR code reader application, which there are lots of those. Um, you can find those for different you know vendors and things of that nature. You as a teacher, all you have to do is now print this page out and your codes will come out. They're also nice and big. And then you can place these, whether it be around the room, for whatever your activity is, whether it's a vocabulary activity, um, an activity we're just doing kind of review, or if you're doing kind of a simulation or scavenger hunt. And these might be some you know, scenarios that students kind of come about as they reach that part of you know, the simulation. The QR code's there. Again, kids are now mobile. They can be doing these things in different parts of the room. So that's all there is to using the QR code scavenger hunt, um, treasure hunt maker. And we hope that you have fun doing this and that your students have a great time learning.